I believe we've been created with, a, with an imagination on purpose. And through the spiritual practice of imaginative reading, I hope to guide you through a reading of Luke 8, 43 through 48, that will help you to see and hear the text with fresh eyes. So as we begin, I just wanna invite you to sort of slow your mind and heart down. One of the best ways that I can do that is by paying attention to my breathing. So take a few deep breaths in. You might imagine that as you're breathing in, you're breathing in the very presence of God because we know that every breath that we have comes directly from God. And as you breathe out, Imagine that you're breathing out any stress or frustration or fear, insecurity or anxiety. Just imagine it leaving your body. Take a moment, pause the video if you need to, to slow your heart and mind and connect with God. So I'll read through this passage slowly a couple of times. As I read, I'd like to invite you to dive deeper and deeper into the story of Jesus. Try to use your senses to imagine this encounter with Jesus. Luke chapter 8, beginning in verse 43. This is the word of the Lord. And there was a woman who had had a discharge of blood for 12 years. And though she had spent all her living on physicians, she could not be healed by anyone. She came up behind Jesus and she touched the fringe of his garment. And immediately her discharge of blood ceased. And Jesus said, who was it that touched me? When everyone around denied it, Peter said, Master, the crowds surround you and are pressing in on you. But Jesus said, someone touched me, for I perceive that power has gone out from me. And when the woman saw that she was not hidden, she came trembling and falling down before him, declaring in the presence of all the people why she had touched him and how she had immediately been healed. And he said to her, Daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace. So as we read through this passage again, I'd like to invite you to sink deeper into this story. What exactly do you feel? Is the weather hot? Do you feel, do you feel a breeze? Can you feel the ground under your feet? The fabric of the clothes that are around you? And what do you smell? You smell animal smells, body odor. Is it a dusty day? Do you smell food from the market? Try to imagine those very smells. And what do you hear? The loud voices of the crowd, animal sounds, birds, the voice of the disciples arguing with Jesus. Do you hear the voice of Jesus? What do you see? Is the sky blue? Do you see the crowd, the disciples? Do you see the woman touching the hem of Jesus' garment? Do you see Jesus? Where are you in this event? Are you in the crowd? Are you standing beside Jesus? Are you the person in need of healing? I'll now read through this story one more time. And, and I want to invite you to take a moment to watch this event take place. What does Jesus look like to you? What do you notice about his eyes? The way he talks to people? His clothes? How does he walk? And there was a woman who had had a discharge of blood for 12 years. And although she had spent all, her money live, uh, all of her money living on physicians, she couldn't be healed by anyone. She came up behind Jesus and she touched the fringe of his garment and immediately her discharge of blood ceased. And Jesus said, who was it that touched me? When everyone denied it, Peter said, Master, the crowds surround you and are pressing in on you. 
But Jesus said, someone touch me, for I could feel that power has gone out from me. And the woman, and when the woman saw that she was not hidden, she came trembling and falling down before him, declaring in the presence of all the people why she had touched him and how she had been immediately healed. And he said to her, Daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace. I want to invite you to stay in the moment there and allow everything else to fade, the animal noises, the dust, the people. Everything is gone but you and Jesus. I want to invite you to go to him, sit beside him. How do you respond to Jesus' presence? Do you talk to him? Do you cry? What do you feel called to share? Maybe you don't say anything. And what does Jesus say to you? Don't try to control it. Just spend some time as you conclude this passage with just the two of you. Enjoy his presence, for he is with you.